Welcome to GoMed TSAT's blog for healthcare entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to continue our discussion about positioning of innovative telehealth ideas. A major change caused by the corona crisis is a steep increase in telehealth offered by regular providers within the networks rather than by third-party providers. The big difference between the two is that the regular provider has access to the patient's medical history and the telehealth suddenly offers both continuity of care and on-par quality. Essentially, only the medium changes. Let's take a look at the landscape of telehealth delivery. Telehealth can be a feature of the patient's existing healthcare plan, but it can also be provided by third-party providers as an independent offer outside of health plans. When telehealth is provided as a feature of the existing plan, it can be provided by the patient's usual physician, but it could also be that the network is offering a dedicated telehealth service. A telehealth session with the patient's regular physician is, of course, advantageous because the physician already knows the patient and has full access to the patient's medical records. Such sessions may include both scheduled visits, acute care visits, referrals to specialists or tests, prescriptions and others. When the plan sets up a dedicated service for certain patients, this service usually has access to the medical records as well and offers a certain level of continuity of care. Often, these services are part of disease management programs such as for CHF, COPD, CKD and others. But it could also be a dedicated acute care service. On the other hand, third-party providers offer both acute care and dedicated disease management platforms. Acute care provided by third-party providers is great because it can be instantly accessible. But third-party providers can also offer more complex disease management, such as monitoring of psychiatric patients, addictions, or others. Payment and reimbursement are important issues to consider, apart from the potential lack of access to the patient's medical records. So when you decide about your telehealth idea, you should ask yourself, how will this idea be delivered to patients? as an independent business model, or will it become a feature of existing healthcare plans? At Teesite, we continue to remain bullish on telehealth. We'd love to hear from you. Contact details below.